1,999, 1,000. Oh, sorry, I, I couldn't see you there over the, the size of my enormous bicep. That's not going in the video. Lads and ladies, my name is Josh O'Connell, and you know after lifting this bad boy, I am in the prime of my life. I'm in the prime of my life. Some might say that I have the body of someone on Baywatch. That was me pointing to my six pack. <laughs> and also a face you might see on Crime Watch. <gasps> Sorry, I just have to compose myself. I'm, I'm sweating a bit from the eyes after the workout. If you don't lift weights like this, you just, you don't understand. Anyway, I thought I'd show you my workout routine. Ah, uh, lifting babes and getting weights. Uh, let me just try that one again. Ah, uh, lifting weights and getting babes. That sounds like no fun at all, I hear you cry. But just look at my before and after pictures. Yeah, it's, it's certainly worth it, but how do I start to look like you? Now that was a good question. And an even better nose piercing. I might get that done, actually. The answer to that question is a humble protein shake. Now, most boys will inject these with steroids and testosterone, but I stick with a good old nutritious yop, filled with positivity. Positivity is the code word for steroids. Now, if you're feeling a bit more adventurous, you can pop in an old sprig of pre-workout. You'll be out of your face on pure power. Are you drinking that pre-workout shite again? I haven't been drinking any pre-workout at all. Next, you need to choose where you're going to train. Now the obvious spots would be TNT Gym, Shoreline, maybe Bray Train Station. <laughs> this is great banter. I choose my humble back garden. There is nothing like the bliss and the solitude of dogs shiting all over the place around you while you're trying to get a good workout on. I wouldn't get that in TNT Gym. Let's get down to business and talk about what you're actually going to do considering I'm a fully qualified personal trainer. Most people will be lunging their tits off all day. But me, I go for short, sharp bursts of everything. Aim to do everything within a 10 second time period. Let me give you an example. Okay, I'd say that's about 10 seconds now. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh yes, that's a good workout. That is how you do it. That is a good workout. Your body is a grenade that you have just pulled a pin on. And you just need that one rep burst to get the Josh O'Connell look. Now weights are actually a different story. The rookie move is to attempt to lift a heavy one right off the bat. Okay, here we go. Ah! Oh Jesus Christ, I think I'm after breaking my shoulder. Ma! Now what you actually want to do is start with the smallest weight possible and exercise the muscles that never get any attention. Let me show you some of my created forms. Number one, so this time you're you're aiming to exercise the, the upper scalectrix truncated muscle. It's in, the, it's in the femur somewhere. I'm not too sure. But what you really want to do is do this about 2.67 times for maximum shreddage. Okay, here we go. Let me show you this one. Are you ready? Do it with me at home if you want. See, now feel your calf muscle after that. Some real definition there. Number two. I like to call this one the Liam pain because you're really going to have to push through the actual pain here. What you're actually aiming to exercise is the vehiculus and divna. It's in the groin, I believe. I'm not too sure. Okay, number two. Here we go. You want to you wanna put it down here somewhere. Okay. Now, bounce up and down. You're really exercising that vehiculus and divna. Job done. Number three. So, it's a bit hit and miss considering no one actually knows where the maximus cortex is or if it exists. Lie down flat on the ground. Maybe you can get your dog to age you in this one. You really want to use the dog because he'll help to define the maximus cortex. If he bites your weight like this, then I don't know. But I now, maximus cortex fully worked out. Give me back my weight, little fucker. Give me back my weight. So lads and ladies, that was my workout routine. If you want to attempt any of the moves you've seen in this video while sober or intoxicated, please send them on to me. Josh O'Connell is not responsible for any injuries or life-threatening maladies derived from these exercises. Results may vary. Terms and conditions apply. As always, I've been Josh O'Connell. Leave a like and share this one with your friends.